r slash place. It is a subreddit that has a giant piece of canvas where Reddit users can place a colored pixel in every 5 minutes. That ends up in creating something like this. It contains a lot of games, characters, flags and what the fuck? Yeah, I guess Reddit being Reddit again. Anyways, like with every community driven project, we also have bots with this one. I know that a lot of people spend time on the screen and work on their own corner, yet it can be destroyed in seconds by using a bot. So to make this fair for everyone, in this video I'll be demonstrating that how a bot can be easily set up. Now hit like and let's get started. So first we head over to the project page. The project was created by Deepak and you can find its link in the description down below. Once we are in the project page, we scroll down and see the list of its features and requirements. Now before we move on, we want to make sure that the python tree is installed on our machine. To verify that, we can open up our powershell and type the command python dash dash version. If it's installed properly, you should see its version. If it is not installed, you can click on this link to go to the python site, download and run the installer. It's pretty straightforward process. Now once we are done with that, we can continue with the project. To download it, you can go on top, hit the code and download as zip. If you have git installed on your machine, you can also clone via that. But if you have that, I'm assuming that you're already running a fleet of bots. Anyway, once we downloaded the project, we extract it and see a bunch of files. But we are mainly interested in config.json file and image.jpg file. Image is the image file that we want to place and it is pretty self-explanatory. One important thing though, while choosing an image, you need to keep the image size in mind. Like the default image dimensions are 7 by 5. Larger the image, harder to place. Now let's get back to the config file. First, to make it work properly, we rename the file as config.json. Then we open it up. There you can see the structure of the text. It is a JavaScript object notation file or JSON in short. It basically has a key and value pairs and this is how the bot fetches the data given by us. Now let's start configuring the bot. First parameter is the image path and we give our image name as a value. It is pretty simple. Then we have the image start coordinates. And this is the X and Y values of our start location. To pick it, we can head back to the canvas and pick a random coordinate and use this coordinate. What will happen is that top left corner of your image will be placed on here and the rest of it will follow. So this is why you need to resize your image properly. Let's say that if we go all the way to the right edge and try to place it, let's say right there. If our image is larger than the remaining place, it will be cut. So keep that in mind. Now let's get back to our configuration. There I will skip those parameters because they are mainly for bot detection prevention, attempt delays and so on. If you want to learn more about that, I suggest you to read the instructions in the project page. Anyways, now we come to the part where we set up our bot accounts or workers. To do it, we enter our username here and password there. Finally, determining where our bot to start. 0, zero meaning that our bot will start from the top left corner. So this can be important because if we run multiple accounts like so, we can specify the different points so the process can get done a lot faster. But in this example, I will be using one account. And that's basically it for the configuration. Now let's run the bot. To do it, we open up our command line and head into our project directory. In this example, I'm using Windows Terminal, but you can use the PowerShell as well. You just need to hold down the shift key, hit the right click, show more options and open PowerShell window. Next up, we enter the command pip install r requirements.txt. It will install the code dependencies required for our project. And finally, we hit dot backslash start verbose.bat and press enter. It should start. But before I actually do that, let's open up the canvas and go to some coordinates where we can see our right pixel, like this one should do. So let's update our image coordinate, save our config file, go to our terminal and run it. And there we have it. It placed the white pixel from the image. If we look into our terminal, as you can see, it logs out what it does thoroughly. And that is because we use the start verbose command. If you were to use the start command instead, you will not get this type of granular information. Also keep in mind that the project is constantly evolving, meaning that a thing that is working a second ago might not work now. So if you encounter any problems, make sure to go to the GitHub page of the project and under the issues tab, search for your error. It will probably bring you closer to the solution. In the end, this video is all about showing you how bots can easily be used. I'm not recommending or personally using this bot and it will not probably work on a larger scale without having a network of bots. Also, I don't know if the bot is secure because I didn't go over its source code, so it's always a good idea to be skeptical. That said, this is how you simply set up an r slash place bot and I hope you find this somewhat useful. If that is the case, please make sure to hit the like and subscribe and until next time, take care.